Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different haul because most of it is consignment and then I have a few thrift things thrown in there. I follow a couple of consignment shops on Instagram just to see the things that they get in. Um, I'm not just thrift. I know my business, Thrift Me Beautiful, is a little bit, is a little bit misleading. I don't just thrift. It's basically sustainable, secondhand, so it can come from the thrift store, it could come from a consignment store, um, a yard sale, anywhere. Basically, if it's secondhand, it falls into the umbrella of my business and what I'm about. So like I said, I follow a couple of consignment stores in my area uh, just to see what they're getting, and I saw this adorable clutch by Kate Spade, and I just... I saw it over the summer and I like loved it. It was my favorite color and then I kind of forgot about it and then it popped up on my feet again and it was on sale. So I made the drive over to the store to see if it was still there and it was and I got it. It's this beautiful little Kate Spade clutch and it's green leather and the best part about it is that the zippers are these little snails. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just so in love. Now, the leather is not in the best condition. Like you can see, it's flipping up a little bit. And I was thinking maybe I could put like leather conditioner on it to help, you know, make it so it won't flake as easily. But I haven't done that yet. Um, I'll have to look into that more. So if you know more about leather care, let me know down in the comments. But it opens just like this, the little magnetized snails come undone and you pull the zipper and then there's the inside and the back is just the plain green leather and this is from the Madison Ave collection for Kate Spade I believe this collection was released in 2013 but I was so excited to get this green is my favorite color I thought it was adorable and I paid $38 for this I completely forgot to tell you which consignment store that that clutch came from. Um, it came from Revival Consignment. I will link their Instagram down below. And while I was at Revival, uh, I kind of shopped around just to see what they had in store. And I totally fell in love with this Zara blouse. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a button up blouse and it's white eyelet lace. And it has ruffles. Look at these sleeves. Now, I just absolutely love this, and I have worn it already. Um, oh my gosh, I just loved this so much. Um, my 11-year-old son did ask me why I was wearing a pirate shirt, and although I was a little bit offended, I thought it was really funny. So I am going to now refer to this as my pirate shirt. I'm not sure how much I spent on this. I think it was 18. Uh, it was definitely under 20. I know $18 is a lot for a thrifter. All you girls out there, guys who thrift, you're probably like ripping your hair out right now. Why did you pay $18 for a shirt? Um, I was there and the owner was awesome and super nice and super supportive of my business. So of course I wanted to in turn support her business and it's a consignment it's second hand it's on that same road of sustainable fashion so of course i had no problem picking this up so i also went to a consignment store called worthy girl it was formerly called plum consignment and if you've been watching my channel for a while i'm sure you've seen me grab a few things from plum consignment but it is now Worthy Girl, same owner, they just rebranded. Now I've been shopping there for a long time and I love the owner, Pam, she's wonderful. And she always brings really great things into the store. So if you already follow my Instagram and watch my stories, I did post trying these pieces on, um, on my stories while I did it. So the first thing that I brought home were these amazing floral pants. They are Old Navy pixie styled pants and they're black with these gorgeous floral print on it. And as you get down to the bottom, it changes a little bit. I love how the pixie pant fits and I just couldn't pass up this print. Next, I got this button up camo shirt, but it's not just any camo shirt. It has really great 
embroidered floral detailing and this maroon um, velvet detail. And it's pretty long, so you can definitely wear leggings with this. Um, when I tried it on in the store, I tied it up at the waist. And when I wore this recently with some jeans, I tucked it in. Last from, um, I almost said Plum Consignment. I will forever think of this store as Plum Consignment. It's Worthy Girl, Worthy Girl, Worthy Girl. I will link them below also. But the last thing I got from Worthy Girl Consignment is this gorgeous white lace cami like tank blouse. But it's this beautiful white color with lace detailing through the bust and then down the sides. And when it's on, it lays more flat up top here. I actually wore this with those floral pants on a date night recently. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check out my Instagram, Thrift Me Beautiful. Okay, on to the things that I got the thrift store. I popped into St. Vincent de Paul. So I got two things that I wouldn't say are my typical style. Um, one of them is vintage and the other one is like, I don't know, you're going to see it and be like, what were you thinking? So this first dress is a Swiss dot lace uh, dress and it's black. So <laughs> what I saw first were these crazy amazing sleeves. This dress definitely gives off like a goth vibe. So you have the the top up here that sheer up top above the bust and then it has like a sweetheart neck and then that Swiss dot lace uh, skirt and then it ruffles at the bottom. I do have a try on. I took a picture of this so you can see what it looks like on. But I just, I just fell in love with this and I thought it was so amazing. Brand is Lace and Beads, which I am not familiar with. But guys, this dress was $1.99. $1.99. So even if I wear it just for like a Halloween costume, I'm, I'm so glad I picked it up. Normally dresses at St. Vincent de Paul are $5.99. Okay, so this last find I had seen when I was looking through the dresses and I was really drawn to it. I love the color, I love the style, but I was like, am I gonna wear this? Where the heck am I gonna wear this? Uh, so I like left it there. I waited in line, I checked out with my other stuff and I walked by the dress again and I'm like, oh. I know if I don't grab it, I'm going to regret it. So I grabbed it and I hopped back in line and there were like six other people that had gotten in line before me. Um, I didn't care. I waited and I bought this. <laughs> it's like a vintage 80s wrap dress. Um, I also tried this on so you'll be able to see it better in that. Um, but it's like this red with black print and it has like little like red squares that are like a little shinier and they have kind of like a puffed sleeve which is actually on trend right now for holiday so I don't know maybe I'll figure out how to wear this for Christmas um but it does wrap in the front and it gathers a little bit so I don't know the only issue with this is that it's like a plunging neckline and I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get it to like stay shut. So I got up to the register to buy this and the girl laughed because she said you couldn't just leave it behind and I said no I couldn't. So she gave it to me for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar. So I was very happy about that. I actually had a buck in my pocket and I gave it to her. I didn't have to use a card or anything. I also thought that maybe I could make it a little more modern and less 80s style by like putting a moto jacket over it. Um, or wearing like a long duster or something, something to break up the 80s a little bit. But I thought the pattern wasn't so extravagant that it wouldn't be as obvious and outdated. But I don't know. Let me show you the picture of me wearing it and you guys let me know what you think.
Guys, thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope you like the things that I found at the consignment stores and the two dresses that I found at St. Vincent de Paul. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like these kinds of hauls and want to see more content from me. And don't forget to check out my Instagram, Thrift Me Beautiful, where I post thrift finds, client work, and thrifted outfit inspiration. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!